So I just stumbled on this amazing tool called OAuth2 Proxy. It's like a security guard for your web applications. Right, I mean, it's fascinating how it can act both as a standalone reverse proxy or be integrated into existing setups. Totally, it's like it has a dual personality, helping users authenticate with OAuth2, but I wonder how does it really do that? Great question. When it intercepts a request, it redirects users to an OAuth2 provider for authentication. It's really user-friendly. User-friendly is key, but what happens if users don't have an account with the provider? Ah, uh, that's where it gets interesting. It usually means users need to sign up first, which can be a barrier. Right, but once they're authenticated, it extracts user details like usernames. That's powerful for personalization. Absolutely. Plus, forwarding those details as HTTP headers can simplify access control for upstream applications. But do you think that could raise privacy concerns? I mean, sharing user data can be risky. That's a valid point. Privacy is a constant concern, especially in today's data-driven world. And what about the integration aspect? It supports multiple providers. That's a lot of flexibility. Exactly. It works with Google, Microsoft, GitHub, and more. But that can also complicate setup and maintenance. Complicated setups can lead to issues. I wonder if users feel overwhelmed by the options available. Totally. It's a double-edged sword. More options mean more customization, but also more confusion. Speaking of setup, I noticed they provide installation docs. Have you checked those out? Yes, they're pretty thorough. It's great that they include example setups. Makes it easier to get started. Do you think this could be a barrier for non-tech savvy users? Not everyone can navigate those docs. Definitely. If you're not familiar with OAuth or proxies, it could feel daunting. Simplified guides could help. And what about the security features? I saw that it has a warning about older versions. Yes, they recommend upgrading to avoid vulnerabilities. It's crucial for maintaining security. That's reassuring, but I wonder how often these vulnerabilities arise with open source projects. It's a challenge. Open source means community involvement, which is great, but also means inconsistent security practices. Makes sense, so do you think the benefits outweigh the risks? For sure. However, users must be aware of best practices. They can't just set it and forget it. Right, active management is essential, and how about the community aspect? They encourage contributions. That's refreshing. It shows a commitment to growth and improvement, but can also slow down the process. True, sometimes community-driven projects struggle with timely updates. It's like a balancing act. Exactly. It's fascinating how community input shapes open source projects, often leading to innovation. Speaking of innovation, I love that they've switched to distroless images for security. Less is more. For sure, smaller images reduce attack surfaces, but debugging could be trickier for developers. True, it's a trade-off, but they also provide alpine images for those who need more visibility. That's smart. Flexibility is key. It's all about catering to different user needs. What's your take on their support for nightly builds? Sounds great, but a bit risky. Nightly builds can be exciting for testing new features, but they're not stable for production. It could lead to problems. Exactly, it's a bit like living on the edge. You get the latest, but at what cost? And the reliance on community contributions might mean less stability initially. They have to balance that. Such a good point. So what's the bottom line for you with OAuth2 Proxy? I'd say it's a powerful tool for authentication but users need to be proactive about security and setup. Agreed, it's all about finding that sweet spot between usability and security. What an interesting journey to explore. Absolutely. I love how these discussions unfold. What do you think we're missing in this conversation? Oh, maybe a deeper dive into the user experience? That could really round out our discussion. Great idea. User experience is crucial, especially when you're dealing with something as technical as this. Exactly. Let's keep exploring and see how we can make this even more accessible. It's such a crucial topic.